Hello beautiful Pisces and welcome to your second reading of the day which is the flower spirit number 10. We had the 10 of wands that we looked at this morning and did a reading and it was really telling you about embracing that beautiful Leo energy and to leave your burdens behind and also to get creative in the way that you do things. Instead of starting with the problem, start with your state of mind and how you feel and how you treat yourself. Solutions will come a lot easier when you are in a better energetic state. So lay your b burdens behind. We're looking at the flower spirit today, which talks a lot about joy and childlike joy. It talks about uh, tenderness and it says be by enjoying life and keeping the playfulness in her heart. She is a source of inspiration and joy. Her childlike vision helps her see the good in all things, especially herself. So it is a beautiful thing. And I also got a lot from this card intuitively by the fact that this flower may only be there for a certain amount of time. And if you're too busy with burdens, you may very well lose a lot of the most beautiful seasons in your life to see the beauty around you. So please, we have but one journey right now. You're right now where you are. Um... This journey is going to be original to you, right? You're here doing this specific path, life path here, with your body and your spirit. Please enjoy as much as you can and get strength and creative in the way that you get things done, okay? All right, so I'm going to pull some cards. I'm going to pull from the Map Oracle and the Good to Row. I'm going to pull the cards first. And then we're going to take a look. Listening, 53. Let's pull another. It's so funny, I was doing the dancing thing this morning, so it's funny that they have listening and they have musical notes here. <laughs> Listen to the music. Maybe listen to the music yourself, right? So here is that 10, here's that mountain. Here's that mountain, it's written mountain. There it is, okay? That mountain, that mountain of grief. I think it's to deeply listen to yourself and what kind of energy you're feeding yourself, Pisces, is what I feel here. We are dealing with how the past has been affecting you. And I feel that we're taught that a lot. We're taught that, you know, things go bad to pounce on it, to try to solve it quickly um, before any kind of bad feelings uh, set in. But bad feelings are already there. So the best thing you can do is just reverse that, okay? That's why a lot of the time something bad happens or something absorbs your day. And what you do is a lot of the times it's like, okay, I need to get off of this. I need to take a break. I need to sleep on it. Whatever that is. But that break is not actually doing anything. It didn't diffuse the situation. It diffuses you. It gives you the time to go and reset that energy that you're in into a better feeling one. This is from Abraham. It, it's, um, I mean, even Tony Robbins have, has uh, preached that as well. Okay, so all the big people in the world, are, that's that seven of air. Okay, it, it's, it's almost, in this case, it's going stealing yourself away from the negative energy. Okay, taking a moment, going to see your feathered friends. Okay, doing something different. Um, noticing flowers, noticing nature, noticing anything around you that makes you feel, puts you in a better thought, in a better mindset, better than the one who's always like, making you feel like you're always like dropping the ball or um, 
this is the the five of earth it's the the feeling of feeling alone in your burdens feeling bad in your burdens okay let me see here i'm gonna pull all the cards oh. you got the ace of air ace of swords breakthrough for a fire. Yeah, a little side celebration is what I'm feeling. <laughs> Five of fire. Eight of air. Hi, Priestess. Mm -hmm. Eight of earth. Push these aside here. <laughs> that Leo card just keeps wanting to come out, doesn't it? The strength card. That Leo energy saying, come on. And there's that three of fire finally taking. Taking a step forward. All right. So, my beautiful ones. <sighs> So you have to try and steal yourself away right here, okay? Eight and eight, this is good work, okay? Right away I see the correlation between um, work that's going to get you somewhere, quality, quality work, quality thoughts, quality energy, not the mountain. And I love the fact that it's a six, the mountain. And you know, you guys, that I love 369, but I've always told you the three and the six are the earthly work. And I feel that the six is always trying to teach us. So in other words, telling you that even in times of burdens, there's a lesson to be learned. It's a really big six moment. Uh, aha, how do I get out of here? How do I escape the box or the mountain that I've given myself to climb when all I really needed to do is walk around it? by walking around it, okay? Free yourself from those negative energies, that feeling of that these burdens are mine to bear alone, that I have to, that I am alone to try to figure all of this out. This could be one of them. First of all, you are not alone. You're never alone. Even when you're alone in a room, you're not alone. You have such intense spirit shining out of you that it is an impossibility for you not to be able to touch everything around you. We are all energy. You touch the walls. I touch the cards. I touch everything that is within me. I touch the people in this house who are still downstairs but away from me. You are never alone, okay? Not while you are here, not ever. So, these thoughts, these disparaging thoughts that we give ourselves that just increases our burdens. How do you get out of it? You break that. You have that breakthrough. You need to come with that important thought, that clarity moment, that fresh perspective to realize where you've been, where you are, and where you're going. Okay? Right now, right now is the best place you can be because Sometimes you live in the past of the things that went wrong or the things that you've done wrong or the things that happen or even the great things that happen, the nostalgic feelings that are there and that you're never going to have again. So see, it even ends up being a bad thought into the future and you put all your hopes in the future. But what you need to take care of is right now. Right now, I'm a human being who's had such great a great past. I've had past that was trying, but that trying past has given me such strength right now. And I'm going to take that strength and I'm going to carry it into the future. Okay, and that's what the Four of Fire is telling you. Take that strong and move it into the future, right? And then, and only then, instead of sitting there trying to, to figure out the conflict and feeling blocked when you get into the right now, you're going to be able to receive right at this moment what you're supposed to. Okay? It's no longer going to be in terms of burden or winning or losing. You're going to be right now. I can do a lot right now. I'm neither winning or losing. This isn't an end goal today. Today is this moment right at this moment. That's it. So what do you do? Work on the good stuff. 
okay? Work on uplifting those energies. Tap into that fire energy and, and release yourself from the conflicts and the blocks that you're setting up for yourself. Okay? Tap into that high priestess and going, I'm, I'm here to receive. I'm going to receive the good stuff because I only want the good stuff. Yeah, you're allowed to say I only want the good stuff. Crap is falling around around you? Well, that's okay. But that's not what I want right now, right now. My energy, my being, as I sit here, I go, I just want the great energy, the good stuff. And allow yourself to feel it. Okay? Give yourself permission to feel good. It's okay. You're allowed. Not only you're allowed, it's your right to feel good right now. And then take that and move it. Move it into great distances and great futures and everything that you want. You can do it. You can't move the mountain. But you can learn from it. You can walk around it. You can even find a way through it sometimes. Hey, who knows? You could probably walk through his mountain. Go to the other side. Who knows? Look at it. Look at it for what it is. See it. See it for exactly what it is. Not just the burden that it is. The um, great opportunity to get creative and find answers. So in other words, really listen. Really listen to yourself. Not that voice that tells you that you're a failure, but the voice that tells you you're fine. You're fantastic. You're fabulous. And you most certainly can find a way out. This is nothing to you. It's music to my ears. Music to my ears. The elephant has often been re um, recalled as somebody who has a fantastic memory. And I feel this is an energetic memory that they're talking about. The memory of every everything you've ever overcome. Okay? You're good at this. Why would you defeat yourself now? Don't defeat yourself. You've had worse days than this. Of course you have. So here we go, Pisces. You have stability in your life. You have a solid foundation of things you know where you've been. You know where you want to go. All you have to do is perfect where you are right now. And the way you do that is by letting it come in. Receiving it. Receiving that beautiful passion and the guidance and direction of where to go. And, you know, by the time you're going in this country, look at the fabulous colors. Look at this. This is where you want to go. I want to be on this shell, on this boat. I want to be going in that direction. Look at this. And you don't even need anything. The compass is behind her. The light is behind you. They're following. You are guiding it. This is the chariot all over again. Okay? But on water. You're doing it. Or is it air? Who cares? Wherever it is. You are bringing it. You are going where you need to go. Look at all of this. Oh, and there's also a candle. There's three of them. So beautiful. Of course there is. Butterfly. Butterfly on her face. Look at that. Is it clearing up? Do you see it? There. Look how beautiful. All right. So... Getting away from negative energies is going to help you find solution to the conflict. You have to realize at this point that this block is yours. And you can clear it. You most certainly can clear it. It's all a, a way of seeing things on how to fix it, how to look at it, how to understand it. Okay, my beautiful Pisces? So maybe I read from one of these. Which one? Do I have the map of the oracle here somewhere? I do. So, how about the listening? How about the listening? 53. Let's see what 53 has to say. Are you listening, Pisces? Are you listening to yourself? Are you being kind to yourself? When this card appears, you're being reminded that there is a time to listen. Now is an occasion for listening. Pay attention not only to what is being spoken, but also what is not being said at the moment, for the deeper message is not always obvious. Listen with your heart, not just your ears, and you'll find clarity. Receiving the listening card is a fortunate sign and ensures a greater understanding of your circumstances. Very nice. I like that. Right. It's gorgeous listening. 
you have it here too. Okay? She is a great um, inner wisdom keeper and inner wisdom receptive for spirituality, for everything, for your higher swell, self to be quiet and to listen to what is coming in so that you can find and seek answers within yourself. All right, my beautiful ones. That's it for me today. I really love these readings today. I think um, they, they started out with such high energy and uh, I'm, I'm feeling wonderful. I'm going to switch up and do something else now. Um, but I will be back tomorrow and I will be giving you another beautiful reading. We're going to be looking at your magic. So get ready for that, my beautiful ones. Um, I'm sending you love, light, and blessings. Take good care of yourself. I will see you later. Bye for now.